Today we're gonna to do part three of our posing friends who aren't models, and this time they're gonna be the models. We have Jessica Colbasi here with us, and together with Rachel, they're gonna model and I'm gonna shoot. And special thanks to our friend Eric Floberg for filming for us. Let's get started. So we know that we wanna shoot at this location, but first we have to pick up a couple of outfits to match. Smash cut two. Now that we've got the outfits for Rachel and Jessica, here's some gratuitous slow motion of us walking to the shoot. All right, here are a few new tips for when you're shooting subjects who aren't super comfortable modeling, like me. A good model knows how to use their eyes to convey emotion. If your subject isn't comfortable at doing this, give them props such as sunglasses or a hat or find other creative ways to take the focus off their eyes and face. Take the pressure to be interesting off of your subject and instead use your camera to make the shot more interesting. Creative and unconventional angles such as shooting up at your model can create interest in the image so your model doesn't have to. The model alone doesn't make the photo. If you want to make a good photo with someone who isn't great at modeling, you can easily achieve this with dynamic and unique poses. When you have your model pose unconventionally, it forces people to pause and become more fixated on your photo. In the Instagram age where people quickly scroll past images all day long, you can stand out in this way. Unconventional poses don't have to be hard for your subjects to pull off. Simple things like this, or even this, do the job just fine. Real quick, we want to tell you about our sponsor for today, and that's Skillshare. We first started using Skillshare a few years ago, and they have great classes covering photography, design, business, cooking, a lot more. By now, you may have seen how I learned to make a flower crown with the help of a class on Skillshare. We headed over to the Flower District in LA, and within a few minutes watching a Skillshare class, I put together this beautiful crown for a shoot with Carlton. We love having Skillshare, and there are over 17,000 classes just to click away and think you will too. You can learn how to create something for your next shoot, learn how to color grade your photos in Photoshop, learn how to edit video in Premiere, and even learn how to pose models. Right now, the first 500 people to sign up using our link will get their first two months for free. Just click the link in the description to find out more. Recap. One, hide your subject's eyes with sunglasses or other props. Two, try unconventional angles such as shooting up to add interest. Three, stop people in their tracks by using simple yet dynamic poses. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that was helpful for you. And thanks so much to Jessica for helping us out today. We actually just did a collab on her channel as well. So check that out. Don't forget to turn on our notification bell and we'll see you next week.